Good morning, it is Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up here in less than one minute, so I will keep you updated. All right, try to get some shares there at 44.51. Almost missed the, and there I am in. So I'm gonna set some sell orders out there. We'll look to build a bigger position here if I can. I'm perfectly fine. That's why I only did 500 shares to start off with. But I like to, you know, buying the pullback here, you know, within a, you know, big gap up. So I like that entry point. So let's see what happens here. Again, got in at uh, 44.51. Pick up some more down there at 43.80 and 43.65. Okay, so I have 200 shares left now. And the spread really came. All right, so this one's getting kind of goofy on me there. So I just want to hop out there because that spread, I was going to put a stop loss in, but then my stop loss would have been way below. So I could have taken easily taken a loss on those final 200 when, as you saw, I was, or I could have just done that. So a little bit trickier there because of the spreads, uh, you know, but I knew that going in. So uh, not really managed perfectly from a stop loss perspective, but um, it would have just been way too difficult because of the spreads. But um, wish I would have pulled back some more. I wish it would, I was hoping it would break through 44 so I could have gotten these shares down there. Uh, but that didn't happen. So $86 there. Let's see what else I can find. Have another order out there. Again, buy the pullback here on NBIX. First order at 42.75. So it was looking like it might break through the round number, but now we're back up to 43.50. Um, so I do have that fishing line out in the water. I'll try my best to capture the entry point if it looks like it gets filled. But this one, as you've seen, is a very quick mover. So um, no promises, but I'll try my best to capture if it looks like I'm going to get filled. So actually, let me keep it rolling now. As it's pulling back. So if it breaks through the round number 43, I'm hoping for a quick move to the downside for it to fill me. Okay, there's the break. All right, not quite moving enough. So what I'm going to do is move that down. 51 actually it's even going further I'm gonna go down to 35 if I could get a first entry point there that'd be fantastic now I'd already be in had I gotten in at 4275 so yep should have just went with my gut instincts there up over 43 I could be selling shares for right now so oh well that's what I get for not following my initial gut instinct but uh, we'll see if it can get pulled back some more yeah, that really just stings. Now the bid is well up over 43. So that's what I get. So, all right, let's keep on looking. Just to provide a little bit of context in terms of how, you know, every single day is different. Uh, for those of you that follow my live trade videos, and if you watch yesterday's video, I made literally like 370 something bucks in one minute. In the opening minute, I made, or yeah. 380 some 70 some I I made a whole lot of money in one minute and here we are now today the very next day 940 say 947 a.m. Eastern time and I'm up $86 so um, you know every single day is different and that's just uh, the reality of it you know uh, that video was uh, from an entertainment value I'm sure much much better than this one so far uh, but that's just you know kind of how the cookie crumbles so I'm out there looking and um, you know, sometimes I make a trade and then I'll go and get a little distracted. But no, this time I've been actively seeking. I've been very active and I just can't get any fills, not really seen anything, uh, you know, that I really like. Um, so I guess the point here being, you know, if you have a really good day and then the next day you seem like it's kind of slow or sluggish, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing anything wrong. That could just very well be, hey, you know, the market is, is just not giving you any sort of opportunities, you know, that you want. So I'll stop, stop blabbing there. But just a little bit interesting context, um, you know, when you consider, you know, yesterday's video compared to, uh, you know, where I am today. All right, sorry about that. I missed the entry point. Let me get some orders out there. Let's see, 200 left. So let's get the stop loss in place. So I'll go slightly there. 
And now I can move it up to 47. So now I'm just watching that bid and as the bid rises, I will move my stop loss up. I picked up 500 at 4301. So if the bid goes above 4360, I will raise up my stop loss some more. So there we go. So now if the bid goes up above 70, I will once again raise my stop loss. And it looks like I'm going to get stopped out. So out there at 43.52. Um, so again, just picked up some shares down there at 43.01 and then got a very nice bounce. Um, so yeah, up 241. So uh, that changed around pretty quickly. So a nice little trade. Uh, but yeah, NBIX, this one's been good to me this morning. Well, I look for a final trade real quick, want to address this since this is the most popular question I get. How am I finding the stocks that I trade? You know, I watch your live trade videos, where are you finding these stocks? So what I've done is put together a little free resource guide where I map out the tools that I am using to find these stocks, you know, that I uh, think have some potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then go ahead and click right there and I will email it to you. Uh, it's a one page document, so it's uh, very small, very time efficient. So by no means you have to read through multiple chapters or anything like that. So like I said, if you think that could help you out, add some value, go ahead and click right there and I'll email it to you. I am once again watching NBIX, um, have an order in at 4175. Um, I, I like the way this one trades. I like how it's a, a quick mover. Um, makes it a little bit more difficult from the stop loss perspective as I've discussed already. But uh, you know, I still like how if you get filled on the bid, you can uh, turn around and play the spread pretty nicely. So we'll see if it gets down there or not. Uh, but I'm still watching this one very closely. Well, I looked out there, um, I got in and I didn't mean to get in there. Um, just a user malfunction on my part. Um, so I just turned around because that was never the plan at all. Um, so I was able to get a quick five cents out of it on 500 or 300 shares. So a quick little 15 bucks there, but um, there was absolutely no skill or planning or anything uh, behind that other than uh, my stupidity and then a little bit of luck. So I uh, have an order right now down at 4101. So see if it wants to drop down there, but um, you know, this one's getting very jumpy. Um, so, but I'm still watching it. I will be wrapping it up though here in the next few minutes if I can't get filled. I have some other things I wanna work on. It is now 1018, so we are 48 minutes into the day. Um, so we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'll give it a little bit more time. Yeah, it's just, it's bouncing back up now. So uh, I'm just gonna wrap it up. Um, caught some trades, so I guess not much variety, NBIX, but the learning point from that is, you know, you don't need a million stocks. You really only need one. And if it keeps giving you opportunities, uh, then, you know, just uh, treat it as your little cash cow and keep on milking it as long as it keeps giving you profit. So that wraps up today's video. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, uh, leave comments, click the like button. Like buttons do tell me that, uh, you know, you're enjoying them. Um, or I should say, when you click the like button, it lets me know that you're still enjoying it. Um, and I'll keep making these uh, comments, you know, as always, uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, if you want to find me, you can find me at claytrader.com. So um, I believe that is it. So everybody have a good rest of the day.